So I'm about to go into my son's middle school orientation for parents and it is kind of the craziest feeling ever because I feel like the kid and I'm the parent. <laughs> Here I go. I'm all nervous. Like, I'm going to meet my middle school teachers. Um, not about me. Not about me. I gotta get over it. Alright, I'm the parent. I'm the grown-up. I'm gonna go act like a grown-up. <laughs> so I just got out of the orientation, and you know what? I really think my son is gonna be fine. I think he's gonna be great. He's ready. He is ready for the independence. It's great school. They're going to take care of him. But <laughs> it's just starting to get pretty real. And I think it's crazy. Like I'm sitting in there and I'm remembering how it felt to be 11 and 12. I remember my teachers I see their faces and I remember how it felt to be in their class. I remember homeroom. I remember everything. And it's nuts, and it's going to be a nutty few years, and it's about to get really real, and I'm freaking out because I could really screw them up. <laughs> you could really look back to, like, 12 was the age for me. It started to get kind of nuts. But anyway, um, it's just weird. Like, I still kind of feel like there should be somebody else in charge. Like, why? Like, who put me in charge? How am I supposed to know things? I don't know. And how am I supposed to know things without telling him? Like, well, let me tell you, I used to sneak in the woods next to the middle school and smoke cigarettes that I stole from my dad. And I want to say, don't do that because you're going to get in trouble. You're going to get a bad reputation and then your life is going to go all downhill. I want to, like, how do you know? You know, I don't. What do you tell and what do you not tell? And obviously this is on video, so now not only does he know I used to do that, my dad now knows. Sorry. <laughs>